Kimberto Kimberto presents as part of a project for the Sonoma State University Geology Department, a visit to the Wonderstone Quarry in Tuwele County, Utah. Our 1,100-mile journey from southern Wyoming to the Owens Valley in California across the basin and range continues. In this installment, we travel from Salt Lake City to the Wonderstone Quarry outside of Vernon, Utah. After our visit to the Natural History Museum of Utah in Salt Lake City, with its very impressive dinosaur exhibits, we will head south on Highway 36 to the town of Delta, Utah. About halfway to Delta from Salt Lake City, we will be stopping at the Wonderstone Quarry near Vernon, Utah to collect some Vernon Hills Wonderstone. So we leave Salt Lake City and head south on Highway 36 for about 63 miles. Vernon is located in the Rush Valley between mountains to the west and mountains to the east. This is the eastern portion of the Basin and Range province. This map shows typical Basin and Range topography an alternating landscape of parallel mountain ranges and valleys. Let's talk a little bit about the Basin and Range. Here we can see Basin and Range topography with its landscape of alternating parallel mountain ranges and basins. On our trip, we will travel south and west across the Basin and Range province to its eastern border in California. The Basin and Range province includes a large section of western North America, from the Sierras in eastern California east to the Colorado Plateau, north from eastern Oregon and Idaho, through Nevada, Utah, Arizona, southeast California, and into Mexico. The Basin and Range is thought to be formed by the extension and thinning of the lithosphere, which is composed of the Earth's crust and upper mantle. This animation shows a proposed mechanism for basin and range formation. First, hot mantle rises. The plate then stretches or extends. Then you see thinning and fracturing. And finally, mountains rise and valleys drop, forming the basin and range. The hot mantle rising closer to the surface and the thinning crust contribute to volcanic activity in the basin and range. There is and has been a variety of volcanic activity in the basin and range. Depending on the types of magma, there are different types of eruptions on the surface. Number two here is an ash cloud eruption is from a gas-rich rhyolitic magma, and that type of eruption is the source of rhyolite for the Vernon Hills rhyolitic wonderstone. After leaving Vernon, you drive for 4.6 miles south on Highway 36. At this intersection, turn left onto the road 630. This is a gravel road that heads towards the Vernon Hills. Stay on the road closest to the railroad tracks for about 2.3 miles, then turn left to the quarry. There is no signage here. Out here in the Vernon Hills, there is nothing. No signage for the quarry, no facilities, not much of anything. It's wise to have good tires and a good spare, of course, and some extra water. You're not far from the highway, but there's not much out here. My photo of the quarry was blurry, so I got this photo from the Utah Geological Survey website. It's an excellent website about the geology of Utah. At the quarry, you can do surface collecting, which is what I did, or you can dig out some fresh material. A pick and a long pry bar would be helpful for digging. Depending on how much you want to collect, two to three hours from the time you turn off the highway should be an adequate amount of time at this location. Here's a geologic map of this portion of the Vernon Hills. The quarry is on the right center and is in the portion marked as TRV. The explanation for TRV in the lower left is that it's from the Upper Eocene, about 35 million years ago, rhyolite, gray, pale red to gray, welded tough with flow banding. This accurately describes some of the specimens I found on my visit. 
Wonderstone is a kind of generic term used to describe several types of striped or banded rocks in the American West. In southern Utah, there is the Shinnerup Wonderstone, which is a banded sandstone. Nevada has Wonderstone locations, which are either rhyolitic or sandstones. Montana has a rhyolitic Wonderstone, which appears very similar to the Vernon Hills Wonderstone. The Vernon Hills Wonderstone is known as a vitric or glassy rhyolitic welded tuff. The welded tuff is formed from volcanic ash and debris which is so hot that after it's deposited, it fuses or welds itself together into the tuff. The flow banding occurs from circulating groundwater. Some of the coloring comes from dissolved iron oxides. This banding is known as lysine gang banding or lysine gang rings. Here's the flow banded rhyolitic Vernon Hills Wonderstone that I collected on my short visit. You can see the grays and the reds and the flow banding as described. This took about maybe 45 minutes to collect. Here's a closer view of some of the pieces I collected. I had just washed it and I decided to take some photos of it because the banding and the colors show much better when it's wet. The Vernon Hills Wonderstone can be shaped and polished into decorative objects. The Bug House in Delta, Utah which specializes in trilobites from the quarry in the house range, also has Wonderstone spears and other items. We are leaving Vernon and the Wonderstone location for Delta, Utah, about 90 minutes south. We will spend a couple of days in Delta looking for sunstones, Cambrian fossils, and topaz. See you in Delta! Thanks for watching our visit to the Wonderstone Quarry in Tuwele County, Utah.